Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome back to the first ever episode of the RTS series. So, what's the first thing you want to do after you've made a plan when you make a game? Uh, in my eyes, the first thing you should always do is set up the probe, the uh, product file. Um, normally what I see people do is try to dive straight in, so they'll go straight in with the objects, you know, first thing, uh, make an object normally like a player and just dive straight into it um, and that's all well and good but it causes complication later on for example when you go to your room you try and put them in it causes problems because you start to realize you know you, you've not got your locking set up properly and things kind of start to look a little bit messy the more and more you, you go on um, and the way to solve that is to just have a little bit of the start of making a project where you just set it up so you get some sprites set up you get a room set up and um, you get all the things like that in so the views and whatnot all set up nicely so that's what we're going to be doing in this video um, it's, I think it's a good thing, a good way to start to be honest um, that's my opinion on it so we've got three sprites as you can see there, we've got one, two, three we've got the first sprite is a tile base because we said we we're going to do it in isometric style so this is my isometric style kind of thing it's just a tile to be honest, um, it's a nice metric tile, um, and that's a blank one. Uh, it's got nothing in, basically. Uh, the next one is a land tile, and basically I just found a brown and filled it in. It's kind of a brown anyway. You know, it's not it's not an art piece, but it does the job. And then we've got a tile center, which is green. It's going to be the center of our civilization. To be honest, I think I might change the green to be something not green because we might do grass tiles and stuff um, and they'd be green also I'm not an artist so the are, they are just block filled colours um, if you want to you can make them into proper isometric things um, proper art and stuff and I think that would be pretty cool but for the moment we're just going to stick with the easy way out um, what else? basically the way I made these tiles is I took a square uh, I then rotated the square 45 degrees it was kind of on its head then I made the height uh, half uh, in this case ended up being 22 and 41 so 41 width and 22 height and then I draw these lines and just to make sure it was all lined up properly to be honest right um, that's all the sprites pretty much covered the only other thing is to make sure the origin is set zero zero for all of them I mean you could fiddle around and put it in the center but for my example it, it has one, two, three, four centers, which is kind of a pain, but you know it works to an extent. Anyway, you can basically use these values to be whatever you want. You could copy me if you want to. Uh, I'll leave a uh, comment, uh, comment in the description about um, a download for this. But for the time being, I'll just stick with those values. Might change them later, but we'll see. Right onto the room. I'm just using the default room that comes preloaded in. Room zero it doesn't really matter what it is for the moment. We're just gonna mess around in this room, yeah, we'll make a proper room later, and add, make a proper world in it. But for the moment, I'm just gonna show you how how we make a world to start with. So the few things, a few things to do beforehand. Um, so the first thing we're gonna do is not use these two. These two are the ones that come stock loaded in into room zero, instances and background. Now this is all well and good. But because these are sprites, if you try and drag it into the instances one, oh no, it doesn't work. It's a problem. Try and drag it into the background one. It does work, but rather peculiarly because it sticks it in a corner and uses it as the background, and you can't move it around, which is really annoying. Um, and it's a common mistake. But what you do instead is create an asset layer. Now, an asset layer can basically contain pretty much anything. Um, generally not instances they go in there uh, I'm not sure if you can drag them in or not I've never really tried but for the most part sprites, tile sets I guess sounds maybe <laughs> scripts? Nah not really um, anything anything you want to draw but not in the background it can go in this layer also we've got a few things wrong here so if we drag it in straight away you'll see these doesn't line up whatsoever. You know, the the locking's terrible. Now, this would cause great problems later. Um, because imagine trying to do it without the locking, you'd, you'd be 
manually lining these up for ages and ages and ages trying to get it perfect. But there's a really simple way of doing it. So the way you do it is you switch over to him. You take your width and your height, so in this case 41 and 22. You then divide it by two. Um, in 41 case, you have to add one, uh, minus one divided by two, because we are to the left. So for this is gonna be 20 and 11. Then we go to here, we press that little arrow. For the grid X, we're gonna say 20, and for the grid Y, we're gonna say 11. You should get something that looks a little bit like this. It's the same as your tile, but half. So now you should be able to see if you drop it in like that, and then you can, well, drop another one in, drop another one in, and they all nicely lock together like that. And you can see, because we've got our things, we're making squares. We're making squares or rectangles in between, which is good because it means it's lined up perfectly. Okay, but that's not how we're going to make our world. We're not going to make it like that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add a center. We're going to put the center in the middle because it makes sense to put that there. And we're just going to surround it with land. And this is just to show you basically how easy it is to make a world like this. Uh, I think isometric personally is a really great way of making games because it's just so easy to use um, like this. And you can see there just really quickly we've made kind of mini world. Now I know it's really simple at the moment, but if you imagine there's units moving along, there's units moving here, and you could click on one of these, you could click on it, and then move units to it, you say move to that, that one there, or you could build something on there, you could build a house, you could do that, and that's all the fun of the RTS that we're going to go into in the future episodes, but for the moment we've kind of got this down, one thing I just want to do before we end is make another tile. We're gonna, in fact, we're gonna change the color of this. I don't like it. We're gonna make it kind of turquoise. Mm, it's not really turquoise. A, a blue color. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Um, then what we're gonna do is make a grass tile, one that actually looks uh, just green, and yeah, it's not gonna be complicated. Open this sprite tile, grass. Edit the image. Take a green. It's kind of a pastel green. Mm, that'll do. That's uh, too too bright. Yeah, I guess I'll do. And then what we can do is we can open up our room, and we could say, let's get rid of that one, and that one. And let's drop in a cheeky little grass style there. You could say that's fertile land or whatever. Right, the idea of this is just to show you how easy it is once you've set all this up to drag and drop this in and in the next video we'll go into maybe some units we'll make some units and um, start to make movement with the units um, do some object work and some scripting uh, but for the moment i've got a little word there we're going to stick with that for the time being um could we add a we could add some on the bottom let's just do that quickly let's add some grass on the bottom and a little bit of land and the idea is you could you could keep going like this and make it appear to be infinite so it doesn't have to be but it goes off it looks like it keeps going it is really 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 simple to drag things in and just, just like this it's something I think that's very good about gimmick too is it makes dragging um, things into the the room editor the room editor itself is just much much better so you can see there if we were to give that a run right now we wouldn't actually be able to play anything but what we would see is there a little room there it's, it's so tiny but it's a little isometric room that looks like it's keep going it looks like it's infinite it's kind of cute and it's kind of got that nice uh, RTS feel to it already. The only thing is we need some units, we need some things to do and we need a nice little UI. So those are the kind of things we'll be working on in the upcoming videos. But for now guys we've set up the project and we're ready to start coding. Um, so this video is over. If you like the video remember to like, subscribe or just do what you guys want to do and I will talk to you in the next one.